Hello Twin Flames and welcome to the DM to the F reading for Tuesday. So today for this video we're going to bring in the Divine Masculine Revelations by Mystic Moon. Now I'm also going to bring in another deck. I want to bring in the Angels of Abundance today because I know that this isn't a message deck but it's going to give you some information regarding where your masculine is in their physical world regarding stability finances because all of that has an impact on you and your connection how quickly they're moving towards you and getting this done so thank you angels what's going on with the masculines please in the physical and what do they want to say to you today divine feminine thank you thank you wow look at this i promise i will come back for you now this is really powerful energy because this is what came through in today's divine masculine reading so we got the promise me, promise me or wait for me, you won't move on. The masculine is giving you a promise today, which is the power of the love. It's a promise of the return, the reunion energy. You know, him, you know, intending to commit and give to you all the things you're dreaming of, even if there's a pause, even if there's a pause in action, even if he needs to think about things and plan things and sort things out and release things where he is. So this is really like the stag. You know, he's giving you the power of the stag today. So if you've been seeing stags today, you're not sure why or what they mean, that's the promise of your union. And it's the promise of the masculine's transformation and their love and their promise to you. He's saying, I will come back for you. So he's coming back. So if you're watching this reading because he's disappeared, you're in separation, he's with someone else, you don't know what's going on, he's saying to you, I will come back for you. This means that you're going to be together. He's promising you union here. He's promising you a future. So let's have a look at his physical life and what's going on. Seven vows of poverty. So what this means is a lot of the masculines don't believe they are good enough for the divine feminine or they aren't enough for the divine feminine or they don't have enough to give to the divine feminine and that's poverty so they have to sever those vows of poverty in all directions of time so these are things that they are healing core wounds that may be from this lifetime or previous lifetime that they've come here to heal from to realize that they are good enough for you they are deserving and worthy of you and they are enough for you too and they have plenty to give to you. So he's healing all these fears around not being enough. It says, dear one, and this is the angels addressing the masculine here. There's no need to suffer or sacrifice. So the masculine sometimes suffer in silence and sacrifice their own happiness because of, you know, vows they've made, which could be marriage vows. It could be vows to a business or a business partner. And they think, oh, this is my bed. I've got to lie in it. And they're realising now they don't have to do that at all. So he's saying to you, I have been suffering in silence, in our silence, and in the silence of my mind. I have made a sacrifice. I do love you and want you. And I don't want to hurt myself any longer by staying away from you. I'm not going to do that anymore. I promise I'm coming back. It says, hold the intention of undoing any vows of poverty or self-denial that you may have made consciously or unconsciously in this lifetime and in any lifetime and as you do so all effects of these vows will be undone for everyone involved in all directions of time and vows are also connected with commitment so I do feel that this is also a message that he is releasing himself from vows and he's making sure first of all that there's not going to be any poverty so he's making sure his children have enough. He's making sure that, you know, he's not going to leave his karmic partner high and dry. He's making sure everything is okay. So this is showing you he's a good person. He wants to do it right. And positivity, faith and optimism. And I love that we've got the lion there. You know, the lion is about strength and power. You've got the lamb, which is about innocence. And you've got the power of the love of heaven there. So as you open the doorway to positive experiences and opportunities with your positive expectations and energy. So your masculine is saying to you, I feel more positive now about our future. I have more faith in our love and I'm more optimistic about us being together than I ever have been before because I've been releasing myself from the things that have been holding me back. 
says do not allow negative energy or temporary setbacks to interfere with the path that you are on so your masculine saying to you i am on the path to you i promise you that i am coming back for you and to you and i'm no longer allowing negative energy or any temporary setbacks or delays to interfere with this i am keeping the faith and i am keeping going so your masculine is showing you today he's in the energy of the nine of wands and this is he's maybe having a slight rest on his journey but he's strong and he's not giving up and he's being given the power he needs from heaven to carry on so your masculine is letting you know that he's healing all the things that stop him from being with you all the fears around being good enough for you and worthy of you and you know being able to give enough to you but he's also releasing himself from vows vows that he may have got in whether it was by accident or you know it was something he did for whatever reason remember this everything happens for a reason he's learning in those situations but he's saying i want everyone to be okay so you know it's not like he's going to just walk out and leave everyone with nothing he's going to make sure they have things because that's who he is so he doesn't want to be a bad father he doesn't want to be a bad person he wants to do it right but this is showing you that he's grown so much because if he hadn't grown he wouldn't feel that way he wouldn't care about those people and now he's saying i care about everyone making sure that everything is settled and certain so that when i'm with you there's no regrets and there's no fears and there's no going back because everything with you will be going forward. I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.